Section 12 of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gaunt. Preference by Charlotte Bronte. Not in scorn do I reprove thee, not in pride thy vows I wave, but believe I could not love thee, wert thou prince and I a slave. These, then, are thine oaths of passion, this thy tenderness for me. Judged even by thine own confession, thou art steeped in perfidy. Having vanquished, thou wouldst leave me, thus I read thee long ago. Therefore I dared not deceive thee, even with friendship's gentle show. Therefore with impassive coldness have I ever met thy gaze, Though full oft with daring boldness thou thine eyes to mine didst raise. Why that smile? Thou now art deeming this my coldness all untrue, But a mask of frozen seeming, hiding secret fires from view. Touch my hand, thou self-deceiver, nay be calm, for I am so. Does it burn? Does my lip quiver? Has mine eye a troubled glow? Canst thou call a moment's color to my forehead, to my cheek? Canst thou tinge their tranquil pallor with one flattering feverish streak? Am I marble? What? No woman could so calm before thee stand. Nothing living, sentient, human could so coldly take thy hand. Yes, a sister might, a mother. My good will is sisterly. Dream not, then, I strive to smother fires that inly burn for thee. Rave not, rage not, wrath is fruitless. Fury cannot change my mind. I but deem the feeling rootless which so whirls in passion's wind. Can I love? Oh, deeply, truly, warmly, fondly, but not thee. And my love is answered duly with an equal energy. Wouldst thou see thy rival? Hasten, draw that curtain soft aside. Look where yon thick branches chase in noon with shades of eventide. In that glade where foliage blending forms a green arch overhead sits thy rival thoughtful bending o'er a stand with papers spread motionless his fingers plying that untired unresting pen time and tide unnoticed flying there he sits the first of men man of conscience man of reason stern perhaps but ever just foe to falsehood wrong and treason honour's shield and virtue's trust worker thinker firm defender of heaven's truth man's liberty soul of iron proof to slander rock where founders tyranny fame he seeks not but full surely she will seek him in his home this i know and wait securely for the atoning hour to come to that man my faith is given therefore soldier cease to sue while god reigns in earth and heaven i to him will still be true. End of section 12